50,000 euros. That's the price some migrants had to pay to sneak into Europe and the US. But now the Chinese trafficking ring that smuggled them has been busted. Dozens of suspects have been arrested in Spain and in France. Marlins are expected to elect their new president, a historic election following months of political turmoil and war. Our reporters take a closer look at vote rigging allegations with local NGO. And Ramadan has ended in bloodshed in Iraq. More than 70 people have been killed as car bombs exploded near cafes and markets, mainly in Baghdad. The country's been ravaged by a wave of violence in the worst in five years. Hello and welcome to France 24. It's good to have you with us. Let's go straight to our top story. A human trafficking ring has been busted in Spain. 75 suspects have been arrested, including two Chinese ringleaders. They're accused of smuggling Asian migrants into Europe and the US, charging each migrant up to 50,000 euros. Spanish and French police worked hand in hand during this two-year investigation, as Hala Mahideen reports. This comes as six migrants from war-torn Syria crossed the oceans looking for a European El Dorado. But when they reached the coast of Sicily, they drowned just a few metres from the shore. More than 100 other migrants travelled with them on a small boat, most of them Syrian and Egyptian. Italian authorities are now trying to identify the victims as well as the survivors. Cathy Clifford has the story. Body bags laid out on the sand at this tourist resort in Sicily. Malians are gearing up for the second and final round of the presidential election. Nearly 7 million voters are expected to cast their ballot on Sunday. A historic vote that's taking place after 18 months of chaos. First a coup, then an Islamist insurgency, then a war. Thomas Martinez is covering this story for France 24. Tom, you talked to voters in Bamako and they say they're not as enthusiastic as before. Now, why is that? Well, this election's been closely watched by international observers, but local NGOs say there's a risk of vote rigging. Some Malians reportedly sell their vote, whilst others can't keep track of their voter card. Our reporters Romeo Langlois and Nicolas Germain investigate. It's a public holiday in Bamako. Very few people are working. The end of Ramadan turned into a bloodbath in Iraq. A dozen car bombs exploded, mainly in Baghdad, killing an estimated 70 people and injuring more than 200. This is the latest in a string of attacks reportedly fueled by sectarian tensions between Sunnis and Shiites. Prashant Rao tells us more about the violence that's thought to be the worst in five years. Bit of sports now. Russia's hosting the World Athletic Championships and the sprint legend Usain Bolt has whizzed to the 100 metres semi-finals that are due on Sunday. The championships have been overshadowed by a controversial law recently approved by President Putin. The law targets what he calls gay propaganda, something that sparked a wave of anger across the world just six months before the Winter Olympics in Sochi. Luke Schrago explains. She's called Sweetie, he's called Sunshine, and the two giant pandas are thought to have mated at the Zoo of Edinburgh. Staff there believe Sweetie could be pregnant, a rare event as pandas are only fertile two or three days a year, but keepers have encouraged the couple by building a love tunnel. Now, if the news is positive, the new cub could be born in September, and it could be the first to be born in Britain. Very cute pictures there. Do stay tuned to France 24. There's more news coming up shortly.